<coughs> Guys, come on. I told you no more smoke for the freaking hundredth time. God damn it. I hate the... Why must you do that? Do what? Pick up my seat and move it. I don't know. I thought it'd be funny before we started screaming. Mm. Oh, shit. Hey, Rick, you recorded that. Hey, what up, YouTube? Uh, oh, that was an... That's interesting. Right, it's very interesting. It's actually rather funny, too. All right, so today we're going to have another overview of the movies, so what we have so far from our script. But first, we're going to introduce someone today. Um, the Stressed Turkey. <coughs> this is why I call him the Distressed Turkey. Hi, everybody! Again, why the heck do you sound like Elmo? Because I want to. <clears throat> anyway... What up, YouTube? It's your boy Legacy. Midnight Nova, also known as Galaxy Bird. Corey, or Corey the Incinerator. All right then. All right. Well, today we're going to be talking. We're going to give you a little bit more info on our movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Director. Okay. So so far, we've got halfway through the movie already from our script. We have still two more months to finish it up. Um. Didn't your uncle give us, or no, it was your mom's ex-boyfriend who gave us an overview of the time. Mm -hmm. So we have until May 31st to finish it up, and then hopefully if that works out, we're heading to Los Angeles about a couple weeks later. City of Angels! And this guy's going to come with us, because he's... The yeah. heck was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't worry him, he's not on his medicine right now. I'm insane. That's insane what? in the membrane. I'm pretty sure all of us are. <laughs> well, I know you two are. I think I'm the normal one here. Have you seen Excuse your face? me. <laughs> yes, I have. That face dope. Okay, so so far, uh, we finished our beginning of the story. So, so we kind of touched it up a bit from the last time we talked. It's still going to be in the um, Arcanian Age, right? Is mm -hmm. that what you said? Uh, 1400 BC? Mm -hmm. Okay. And no, uh, 1400 BCE. BCE, oh. thank you. I missed that. Oh. Um, so him and I are, are going to be in two different tribes. We're not going to be brothers like we said we were in the movie. Um, so each tribe, one is dark, one is light, like I said last time. Okay. Dark, light, get it. <laughs> I made the same thing. <laughs> I'm not trying to be racist. Come on. Anyways. I that way, though. Just finish. This is this is why I invited you here. I, this is why I shouldn't have invited. Do you want? Never mind. Okay. Yin and Yang, and <laughs> racist again. Okay, you know Sorry. what? You, you know what? You have a better idea of explaining this, so okay. you tell. Well, our movie is going to be taking place in 14 BCE. Uh, we're going to be part of two tribes. They're going to be in a mortal conflict that way back generations. Uh, there's, one of the names of the tribes is the Arcanian? Yeah, that's your tribe. And then the other one was, I can't remember what was that one. Psychosis. Psychosis. Um, but anyway, basically, you want to see him get his ass kicked in the movie? Come see the movie. <laughs> so, that's so why I think I can explain this part. Go for it. So a war ensues afterwards after the power has been split, split between two tribes. One tribe wants the power for themselves, and one and one tribe, my tribe, wants to protect the power so that one day it could be reunited, so each tribe can be whole again. Yes, he's crazy. But yeah, that's what's gonna happen. And because of that, the war started, but both of the powers that we both have were sealed away in, a, in an item. So that's that's where we disappear, but we but we appear about two thousand years later for and you know into this timeline. So someone uncovers the artifact and somehow releases us into the world. But we're separated. We're not released all at once. We are released into different places. He gets released first. I get released last because I was I was sealed away last before anything else happened. So. Tell them about what happens when you wake up. Well, as soon as I wake up from my deep slumber, <laughs> you're... I was going to say that. Sorry. <laughs> um, I basically unleash all hell on earth. 
Yeah. Was it your mama? <laughs> no, it yeah. was not. Yeah. Smart to have a phone while recording, huh? Right, for real, huh? But um <clears throat> but as soon as I awake, I unleash well basically hell on earth. Um searching for the last remaining of my rival tribe. And also the oh, power no. that I possess. And the power he possesses. Oh no. Okay. Um, and then I wake up. I wake up in a different area, but I was I bring myself over to Denver. That's where that's where I was re- unleashed to, or sorry, released. And I become a famous scientist, which he is paid to assassinate. But with the accident happening, it releases my power, and I become all known as Midnight Nova. Yeah, it's still an easy job. What? Still an easy job, just saying. Yeah, but you didn't kill me, though. I can. Make you regret the script. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Then there, then I wouldn't be your rival in the movie. That's then that's where all the other movies come in. Fair enough. Uh, I think that pretty much explains my part. But before, this is what I thought of. So before, so before I get released, mm-hmm. you have no idea where you are, but you want to unleash hell no matter where you go because of your power. Your darkness power is consumed, and you want to unleash it on everybody you see. But before that, you gotta get power over the people first before you can control anything. So that's why you became a famous businessman and take over. What city do you take over? It's a famous city. Is um, it within in California? Mm-hmm. Well, well, pretty much, pretty much, he takes over a city, and with that, he is able to make his plan come to reality. But that's when I come in and try to stop him. He pretty much kicks my ass. When I try to stop him. Like you... usual. <laughs> I didn't say shit. Shut the fuck up. I didn't say up. anything. Shut the fuck up. Hey, hey. No. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry, right people. Now. Let's go. Okay, but... Mm, he has a team. Uh, wasn't it Legion of Demons? Or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much a team made up of demons. Uh, you want to tell them... Who's on your team? Let's see. I have Tombstone. He um, basically his ability is to resurrect the dead. I have Kills Killstreak. Killstreak, hell of an excellent sniper. Um, let's see. then there's my my right hand man, Zodiac. He has the ability to basically use all the Zodiac symbols. And bring them to life. To his ability. And he can actually bring them to life as well into the real world. Um, and then that's that's where he comes in because his weapon... Oh, you want to explain that, which is pretty cool. And my be- my beautiful weapon that he can't beat... This is me. Um, <laughs> well... It has three forms, pretty much. It, yes, it basically has three forms. The first form is um, a legendary dagger, but then which evolves into um, an arm sword. Sorry, I got too carried away. Go ahead, you have a better explanation of this. All right. When I first find out about my special my <laughs> special weapon, when I first find out about my special weapon, it's a legendary dagger that's been lost for centuries. And after I find it back, after I find it, it. Basically, over time, as I get stronger, it evolves. It goes from a dagger to a blade that eventually covers my whole entire arm. The final, the final form of my weapon is actually the Death Scythe. And what's the, and what is your what? weapon called? My weapon is called Bloodline. And I think you're missing something because the only what? way Bloodline works with you is because of my unique blood. Apparently, since him and I come from the same tribe, Bloodline will not kill me. Um, it does have a specific poison, which reacts to different kinds of blood. But since him and I are from the same tribe, pretty much, it won't affect. It won't kill me, if, but eventually it will. But I have to take... But in the movie, there is a cure for it, but only that I can take. Everyone else that he slashes with it with the poison eventually dies. There is no cure for them. Okay, that, hold, hold the fuck, hold up, hold up. 
The hell? You just said that if he slashes somebody. With the poison. With the poison. They will die. They die. But I, can, I am the only one that can use a cure because I have the same blood as him. Then you would be brothers, you dummy. Mm-hmm. No, because each person from the tribe... It doesn't matter. You guys don't have the same blood. Even if you guys are in the okay, same tribe. Okay, same blood type. How about that? It's a rare blood type that only our tribe has. Okay, I guess you're we need... Confu- you're confusing our guest here. And I guess, I guess we need to touch up on our script a little bit. But then... yeah, 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 I think just a... Just a... Mm-hmm. He probably have it in some parts I don't know about yet. Yeah, probably. But anywho, um, do we have any questions from our fan base on Snapchat? No, but um, there was someone that commented on the last video we did. Okay. Um, he didn't. It wasn't a question, but it was more of a sarcastic answer. What was the answer? I can't wait to see this fucking disaster. You might be right. A disaster on your face! It it might be a disaster. We don't know yet. Knowing him and I, we don't know. Okay. Well, I have a a couple questions from Facebook. Ooh. Um, They were wondering. Yes. Well, it was not more or less they were wondering. It's more or less... Is he a wimp? Yes. (laughs) That was one of them. You can leave now. Hey, he even admitted that that was one of them. That was actually one of the questions. Boom, I win. Um, Thank you. (laughs) Another one of the questions is more... So if the time... Well, first of all, I don't have my phone. But in the time that we go back is basically, would we be fighting all the elements or would we be bending the elements to our will? You mean the yin and yang? Pretty much we'll be bending it to our will. But since your power... Uh, since you don't know how to con- fully control your power yet, that's when you, you when you uh, fully control it. That's when your scythe appears. Why are you telling me? You tell him. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. You, why, why are you looking at him? <laughs> right, I noticed. Okay, don't so, him. <laughs> so pretty much, since the darkness power that he possesses is a little unstable at the moment, since he did not get it fully through training, he was just more likely possessed to take the power. That's that's one of the reasons why the tribe, the two tribes were broken apart, because one of the tribe members tried to take the power for himself. And then that's why the power split. So he became the leader of that tribe, and I became the leader of my tribe, since I was the one who was in charge of the other power. I was at a very young age. We were, what, 20 years old when we were given the power? Mm-hmm. And that's young? That's right. young. That's young. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. From back then, that's definitely young. He's not really rephrasing that right. Basically, when we inherited the powers, we were basically newborns. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, you want to explain that? Because it was your idea. He's really smart. Not really. <clears throat> And that's our special effects editor. But anywho, I totally spaced out where I was. Uh, you were talking about the newborns, right? When we were newborns, when we were inheriting the power, right, 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 right. Okay. Well, basically, when we inherited the power, is when the two tribes actually split. Because if the if both powers were together, it would create ultimate disaster. Or ultimate peace. I had totally forgotten about that. Yes, this is what Jaja Binks means. Okay, our Jaja um, Binks. Our special Hello. guest is a very big interpreter. He can do many, many. Yeah, I can do many, not many, many. Okay. Well. Anyways, you were saying. Uh, oh, you already explained it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Was there any other questions? Um. Let's see. We had a question on Instagram. Ooh. Yeah, you really posted a lot about this movie, didn't you? Yes, I did. Bravosa. <laughs> um, but basically, on Instagram, our question was, is there another spot for another person? Well, oh, oh, you forgot one more person. Um, who was it? So we got Killstreak. 
Oh. Kill switch would have been better. <coughs> what? Kill switch. <laughs> You're saying? Good a, job. That's the sound in my brain. Just bam. Okay. It, it was a it was a good one. <laughs> it, it was good for the moment. Okay. So then again, um, is your shadow possessor? Um, what was it? Shadow King. He was one of your. Um, he was one of my generals. Yes, and also his right hand man is Masquerade. That Masquerade is someone who has a power of gravity. Literally, he can bend gravity to his will, so which means anyone he fights, he can literally set them to the ground without them even trying. Watch out, girls. Send them after you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Can you stop with the special effects sounds? Anywho. How is he an apprentice if he controls Earth? <clears throat> I said gravity. St same diff. You said he can send them to the ground, therefore controlling Earth. To send them He's to the ground. He's controlling gravity, so he, of course... So he can control. launch them into outer space. Pretty much. Okay, that's cheap. He could just send the whole world, be like, you know what, screw you, everybody, <laughs> to the <laughs> universe. I know, yeah, but like, think about that. That's, that's some funny shit. Be like, oh, wait, you want a box? You want... What the... But with this team... Be like, this goodbye, peace. <laughs> exactly. With his team in the making, my team is in the making as well. I have... Is his a wimpy team? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I have four guys on my team. We've got oh, whips. <clears throat> compared to mine, yeah. Fire streak. Um, Archangel. Archangel is an angel set from the past who was brought to reality around our time. The same time about around we woke up was um, she has the power to literally revive anybody, pretty much. And bring back people from the past to fight. Pretty Mark much. Angel sounds like a dude, not a chick. <clears throat> okay, what would you name it then, huh? What would you name her? Angel Girl. Hey, Angel Girl. Angel Girl. <laughs> Sorry. Also, Archangel is already. You guys know that Arc Archangel is actually in Marvel Comics, right? You know, Archangel is actually an angel in the Bible, right? Yeah, that too. But they they can't claim anything for yeah. that name because they got it from something already, mm -hmm. and it's already used throughout history. Yeah. So but, Archangel. It does sound like a dude. And it, it's the rival to Tombstone. Tombstone can bring the dead back to life. Archangel or whoever I decide to name her is going to be be able to revive people from the past to fight. So pretty much gl gladiators or. Whatever she can bring back. Skeleton's cool. Because how is she going to produce skin in a soul? It's called... Okay, I'll have to work on that. Do you have a good question on that one? Wait, you're talking necromancy? Yes, pretty much. Yeah, that would bring back a skeleton. I'm not... No, she can bring back like a full body person. Skin and everything. Oh, you're talking like past past. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So she just pretty much controls time. Pretty yes. much. It's like, no, you, into time. She, yeah, she can bring back, like, Spartacus from... Attila the Hun! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, have to. Call me Elmo! Um, and my, and <laughs> my... It's funny as hell to watch Elmo fight on battle. <laughs> and another person is the Twin Elementals. Um, they're both brothers, and both of them have three elements. The first brother, which I'm still, I'm still working on the names of the two brothers at the moment. One has earth, lightning, and water, and one controls fire, darkness, and light at the same time. It's a kind of weird combination, but each of them have three different powers. I want to know how he controls darkness when he's not even on the dark team. <laughs> like, the fuck? No. The hell? Okay, I guess I might have to rephrase my team a bit. Yes, my friend, yes. Well, yeah, I'm going to need your help because you're uh, my assistant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so and also, I... light and dark. Dark is kind of light, not an element. Light is an element. Have you never... I'm reflecting light right now. How is that an element? <laughs> have you nice never watched moment. Bakugan? We're oh, we're going off an anime. Okay. No, it's not. A we're going off anime logic. Like, are, are we seriously 
No! Like, we, like seriously having this conversation while we're doing this? Can we do this? Yeah, okay, we'll do this okay. some other time. Any other questions? Um... Do you have any questions? Katie99 asked, is there an open position for an audition? Yes. We got we got at least 10 more opening spots for anyone who wants it. Um, we will also be choosing who is going to be in the movie by the around, around the same time we finish our script because we can't do the movie without a script. So, and that opportunity happens, we'll be in the next two months. So anyone who does want to be in the movie, put your link comment in the description or I will put up a little sidebar where you can put your auditions and other comments and questions. That means you, Katie99. Get up here, girl. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you sound chill. Do you have any questions since you... Nice one. Now for our I, I do have a question. Is Alma in the movie? No. No. Ah. <laughs> Okay, no more special effects. It's kind of getting in the way of stuff. What about Jaja Jar Beans? You're... Uh, what about Jaja Jar Beans? Do we have any other questions? Not that I saw. Okay. Since you were the one posting it so much, I didn't really have a lot of time to post anything about it. Yeah. I'm here to screw with them if you haven't seen by this. <laughs> oh, and your poster's ready to go. Fun. I just need to get it from Santa Fe, so we're going down tomorrow to get it. Sounds good. Um, we bet we already made a poster for the cover of the movie. So if anyone wants that, put your comment down in the description below, and each one will be each poster will be five dollars for anyone who does want the poster. I will post a picture of the new poster that's coming out tomorrow. So I'll be down to make some copies for anyone who wants it. I'm pretty sure you want one. Hell yeah, it's my poster, bro. I'm. Do you want one? I don't know how they look. Just, they look badass, bro. You, you want to pose? You want to show them the pose for the poster? No. Hopefully, I get that tattoo Not in time. Long. No. <laughs> they get to see all. They get to see all this in the movie. Fair. Where he plays a wood. Oh, so I did have one more question for you. Um, are you gonna have your hair back, or are you gonna have it like this? Well, I was thinking, well, I'm, when it comes down to the scenes where it's actually showing me in an office, mm -hmm. I'm going to be wearing a nice ass, well, a really nice suit, and then um, I have my hair pulled back. But mm -hmm. when I get, it's like, basically, when I start getting into the fight, is okay. when I take down my hair. And that's when you get fully serious. Exactly. Yeah, because you would have to look like back then. Mm -hmm. And everything, and back then they wouldn't, they didn't have anything to pull back their hair. Hmm. Oh, and my character has a special sword that comes out of his chest right here. So pretty much, um, so a handle works. comes out when I summon my power. When I summon my power, oh, I said that twice. I don't know why. <laughs> and I pull it out like this all the way until my sword, until my sword comes out. It's a fire sword brought back from a back from my tribe called Firestream. It pretty much has a control powers of fire and storms. So pretty much it's a rival to Bloodline, but not in power and poison. Oh, you forgot to mention what uh, Bloodline is. Oh. I'm confused as hell as how is he pulling it out of his chest every single time. <coughs> that'll is he be, that'll be himself every single time? That'll be explained in the movie. When he has to put it away. Yeah. <laughs> well, during, during the movie, when I'm not using Bloodline, one of, my, um, one of my generals, known as Zodiac, he he holds on to it for me. Because? the One of the Zodiac symbols that he uses is Gemini. And Gemini <clears throat> comes out in two snakes, one red, one black. And when Gemini does form, they both slither onto my arm, they fuse with my arm, and then there's bloodline out of nowhere. Yes, but what is its special power? Special power? Remember? It's the 13th gate. Oh, yes. 
And then the 13th gate is the ultimate weapon. And that's where the scythe comes in. It is called unity. That's what his scythe is called. And that's when he pretty much summons all his power into one death slice. What was, what was your final move called? Because you were working on a name for it. Or have you not figured it out yet? Still haven't figured it out. But when you summon it, you, you call on unity, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and when he unlocks his final form, he can switch it back to any of the previous forms that he began with. So if he doesn't want the scythe anymore, he can turn it back into blood to the second form. Mm -hmm. Or if he really wants to just like mess around with people, he can use his legendary dagger. Don't push me. Okay. Well, I think that's all the questions we have for this, unless you... I have to admit, that was perfectly timed. It was, indeed. Was there anything else? Uh, not at the moment. There's one thing, one thing. <laughs> and that's right there is the... This, what is it? Distressed turkey. Distressed turkey, thank you. Well, there's our guest. <laughs> and let's have a good thank you for our guest, the distressed turkey. And basically, that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, put your comments down below. Any other questions for this movie, you can leave down below. Any auditions, I'll put up a sidebar for anyone who wants to audition for it. So I'm pretty sure that's it for now. I'm Galaxy Bird. I'm Legion. I'm Corey the Incinerator. And we are out.